And new this morning, we're learning that Michigan's largest school district is looking to go virtual for the next week and a half. In an email sent out to staff, Superintendent Dr. Nikolai Vidi announced classes will be going online from this Thursday through January 14th. This has not been formally announced to the public just yet, but we are expecting a formal announcement soon. And this is just one of several local districts going virtual to start this new school year uh, here in January. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozargian joins us now with how parents are being forced to adapt. Keenan, if you remember, this is the same instability we saw in schools back in 2020. Administrators at every level of education, including here at Oakland University, are realizing that it's not safe to learn inside a classroom next to other people. And that's a huge problem for working parents who can't leave their kids at home to their own devices. We are trying as hard as we possibly can to keep that stress internal and not um, expose the kids to it. Remote learning is less than ideal for Ross Kinder, a working father with six mouths to feed. His kids attend school in Ann Arbor, one of at least five districts in Metro Detroit making last minute changes due to off the chart COVID infection rate. It's a challenge. Finding childcare on the fly is both expensive and difficult. That's why Kinder will be forced to essentially lean on grandparents. Upon return from winter break, Detroit Public Schools Superintendent Nicholas Vitti announced a mass COVID testing plan that would apply to staff and students. Other school districts like Southfield are hyper focusing on masking and social distance. We are now looking into the purchase of KN95 masks for all of our staff and all of our students. In the cafeteria, we are looking at creating some additional space, but there's only so much space in a school. The shift in safety plans is meant to be short lived, but some parents aren't so sure. I don't think that they would have done two days of planning for only three days of virtual school. That just doesn't add up. Most districts are in a wait and assess mode, while parents like Mayor Salah are just trying to keep their heads above water. This Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I have to take three days off because, you know, I have to kind of babysit essentially my my kindergartner, my third and fifth grader to make sure they're all doing their virtual school. 